five, four, three, two, one. MD, hit the button. He's a representing for the hood. By the hood. Representing for the hood. By the hood. Representing from the hood. By the hood. It's a show. D-I-S. D-I-S. This is a radio show. D-I-S. D-I-S. Turn it up and let the radio go. If you independent, that's plenty. That's plenty. Been number one since the beginning. I don't think they even close to being finished. Uh-huh. Honestly, I just think they really getting started. It's the radio show made for the independent artists. I'm KC, request that when you call it. If you really want to get heard, just in your song. MD and Dundee gon' get you promotion. And anything after that, Mary Alex or Hattie. 1580 AM. Every Monday, they starting at 10. And don't quit till the ship in. Just tune in and listen. Open your ears wide. Real bosses, we just trying to be. The empire. All, all we do is work, we don't spend time. And I ain't lying when I say I not have been fine. Everything you gon' hear right here, bang. Number one for the independent artists doing things. Hold up. D-I-S, D-I-S, this, this radio show. D-I-S, D-I-S, turn it up and let the radio go. D-I-S, D-I-S, we finna be your favorite radio show. D-I-S, D-I-S, and just in case you didn't know, this the radio show. Just in case you didn't know, it's the radio show. And just in case you didn't know, it's the radio show. Now, they said they're going to bring back Roseanne. Well, a reboot without Roseanne, sort of like a spinoff show. Should they continue to do that show? Or should they go ahead and, and let that dog be put to sleep in his misery? Anyway, we'll talk about that and much more tonight while we bring you the radio show. Dundee, MD, and g all in the building tonight. Coming to you live and direct from our Los Angeles studios. Heard on 1580 AM in Los Angeles. 97.7 The Blaze out of Phoenix. 97.8 Push Radio out of Boston. What up, Charlie? And all of our radio show affiliates all over the country. And also heard on iHeartRadio at the same dang time. Time, man. This is the radio show, strictly independent music at its finest. Each and every week, we love bringing this to you. You want to holler at us? We're right here. Six two. I'm sorry. Eight three 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 seven seven. Because I haven't gotten used to this new number yet. Eight three 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 seven seven three five four eight three. Eight three 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 seven seven five four eight three is that national hotline number. New number to get in and get at us. Go ahead and push option number one. You are live on the air with us. And people that are on the air right now, let's go ahead and talk to them. We had a chance to spend some time out in Lake Elsinore over the weekend. I'm sure MD has a lot to share on that. Man, so uh, go ahead. We'll talk to MD right now. So MD, what's going on, man? I don't like Robbie anyhow. You know? Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> not much, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to being on the radio with my headphones. But unfortunately, Hi. I left them. In my office at home. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Uh-huh. Huh, man, it sounds weird without being here myself. But anyhow, we had a blast down there. We, you know, we you know we did a lot of de- television production. I was there in Riverside. We met a lot of models and designers, and uh, I like that rapper who who, who sound like mystical. He 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 was good. He was kind of funny, you know. He, but he did his thing and. And also shout outs to my girl out there, Val. You know, she she did the hosting down there. So we enjoyed ourselves, you know, and um long ride, but it was worse at all. And mm-hmm. Robbie, I gave you thumbs up ten. No, I'll give you eleven for a change. And we're gonna continue that true in the access coming up in about another couple of months. And we're gonna be our first season, the full one hour show. But we're trying to get that half hour pilot out there and we will. Just a matter of time. I know I've been getting phone calls about it. When we gonna see our video on TV? We gonna see it on the website? When we gonna see it? Period. Well, we'll let you know as soon as we get everything situated. We gonna let you know what's up with True Indie Access. Now we got my girl to my left this time. Yes. Yeah, Use everybody on my right. Yeah. But speaking he, speaking of True Indie Access, we have uh, the ooh. co-host yeah. of True Indie Access. And part of the radio show, she is here right now. That is uh, G Lon. Hey, what up? What up? What up? What up? What's going on? What's Jelani? up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Mm-hmm. I didn't like him either that much. No, I'm like, <laughs> 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 now I just mess with much love, Rob. But yeah, um, what's going on, everybody? You no, know, uh, I know I've been 
a minute not here he's adjusting the microphone i mean no no the camera the camera i'm yeah. sorry that's from all that drinking i've been doing my bad my those mind mar- is a little margaritas shot huh? <laughs> and a little bit more than margarita yeah. we spiked it with something else but uh, <laughs> i knew you guys did something to it <laughs> <laughs> just knew it if i didn't touch it <laughs> shout out to my girl who bought the, the bang and vodka you know and her brand was so so lovely <laughs> but um it's la la but yes, um, so you know, we just doing it in, doing our big, you know, just chilling, chilling, how we do. And you know, about to get in, but I can't wait till we talk about that whole Roseanne, um, you know, Kanye thing going on. Yeah. You know, it's Gemini season, so you know some crazy things gonna happen. I can already feel it. Yeah, we'll, it's we'll, already we'll get into that. Plus our guest Candace uh Wakefield, she's here, so we're gonna be talking we'll, to her we'll. in a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. Uh also we got an event that we're doing in just a few weeks here tonight. Our Industry Connects network mixer that we're doing, and we're going to add a twist to it as well. So it's going down June the 21st at the Hibachi Lounge, uh, 5066 Hibachi West Lounge. Pico Boulevard, going down in the city of Los Angeles for um, vendor information, sponsorship information. Hit up our number, 833-377-5483, 833-377-5483. Now, for that one, you want to hit option number three, and someone from our office will get back to you at our earliest convenience. So, yeah, we got music coming up right now by uh, Andre Ryder, as well as Denzel Davis, but we're going to start off with uh, my man, Hasim with Deja Vu. And when we come back, we got Candace Parker. Or we're gonna be talking Candace Wayfield. There we're gonna be go, talking to Parker. her. Right. Oh well. the I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the Sparks. I'm yeah. thinking of you know what? I watched the game. That's, That's why. The oh, I watched the game. Oh, oh. That's why. You, you and she was that. on my brain. That's why I watched the game. Here we go. The radio show. My name is Poker. Hey, you know what it is? It's Nino West. My name is August Cole, and I'm independent. And I'm independent.
This is J T K. What's up, everybody? This your girl Hazel Love. Yo, what's cracking, man? It's OG Bone. Right here on the number one source for independent music, the radio show. To wake myself up, it's time to get to the top. I'm realizing people don't really respect what they got. Took a little bit of time just to dig through the rocks. Ain't trying to be shocked on the chance. I'm stuck on the block. I bet you never understand when the kitchen get hot. Are your first encounter of a loved one being shot? You gotta learn to pick your poison when you think on the spot. Had to take my own advice when the truth being blocked. We still fighting for injustice that my people ain't got. You don't understand the steps that it take to get caught. You just a number in the system and they picking the plot. God, you can nurture your kids. Don't let their soul just rock. Seen a lot of hard times. I'm just speaking my thoughts I hope you see the bigger picture Whether you like it or not Don't let them play you When you're young You gotta think out the box Depending on making moves The only thing that we got Still fighting my own issues When the devil gon' stop It's hard to battle everything When it's tied up in the knot It's a breathtaking moment When the ball don't drop Everybody playing games But when the cash gon' stop Everybody playing games But when the cash gon' stop Everybody playing games, but when the cash gon' stop. Stop, stop, when the game's gon' stop. There's more than this, blah, blah, blah. Their dreams of being shot, shot, shot. my people and give our help to the block you can only blame yourself for the drama you got i had to wake myself up because i was sleeping a lot know you're worth it know your value when you're picking your slot you gotta walk it in line don't let your enemies plot man it take a little time when you're setting up shop i can name a few homies still out there dealing in the room mentally this lifestyle got their vision on lock money cards clothes and they in love with the glass reputation mean everything disrespect get you pop i don't party nowadays because i don't want to be shot i don't party nowadays i'm trying to come out on top i'd rather trust my enemies than put my faith in the cop when you fighting for yourself you give it all that you got had to separate myself so my vision ain't not time's getting fragile when you fighting the clock depending on making money the only thing that we got if you was walking in my shoes you couldn't fit in my socks so we walk in different routes they don't hear what i say they rather judge me by my skin when i'm walking away they rather judge me by my skin when i'm walking away they rather judge me by my skin when i'm walking away stop We got Candace Wayfield. She'll be here in just a few moments. Let me hit you over the head with this Andre Ryder. My slide. Let's get to it. Radio Andre show. Ryder. Hey, yo, Q. Hey, yo, Q. That shit just sound like something. That shit just sound like something. Yeah, that my slide. That my slide. One call. She always down the ride. She keep me up. Never waste my time. She hella real and keep up tight. Yeah. She be right to mix the trap. She's so loyal to me. She's so loyal to me. Yeah, yeah. If you pay respect, we gon' be for body. Yeah, yeah. That my slide. Mm, passion side. Mm, Rollin' the back. Shawty, give me up. So I'ma buy her. Whatever she like. When it's Gucci to Sally, we shop in a Beverly, doing it right. Diamond stands and all 
Every time, 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 every Formerly of the San Francisco 49ers. Mm-hmm. He passed at the age of 61. So, mm-hmm. okay. you know, Super Bowl champ, for what, four times with Joe Montana? Yeah. Caught that yeah, famous got, pa- that pass. Famous pass, pass, pass yeah. Yeah. Caught the pass. Yeah. yeah. Hold up, don't so. y'all think all these games is rigged by now, though? It's professional. It's professional. So yeah. you know, professional rigging. Yeah. yeah. See, see under, under way at the end of each title of the company, 
the, yeah. the key word entertainment is, is, is in, in right. invisible ink. It's rig. So yeah. some NBA, of that might yeah. be uh, rig is such a strong word. It's rig. You know what I'm saying? It's I stopped watching word. basketball yeah. and I used to love some basketball yeah. back in 2001 when, game was, say, when it was real. It's scripted out. When it was real. Let's just say, let's just say it's scripted out. It's scripted script out. Yeah, man, forget that, man. But you know, but I enjoyed it and I watched sports the rest to the day I die. I love I love watching my reality show. Yeah, man. That's what I call it. My personal reality show. Exactly. I love every moment of it. It's all good, Every man. Yeah, it's all good. Get down, LeBron James, exactly. one man wrecking crew. Yeah, man. 833 <laughs> 377-5483. 833-377-5483. It's the phone number you want to get in and talk to us. And we're gonna we're gonna be talking to our guests in just a few moments as well. Uh Candace Wakefield. Just a little bit, because I want to get into her world. But before we bring her on, I do want to touch on this real quick. As you know, Roseanne's show was no. canceled last week. Good. So uh, due to uh, her she wasn't funny a, 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 a racist she uh, funny. Uh, tweet that she put out uh, disrespecting a, a, a former aide of President Obama. Uh, they're talking about bringing a reboot of the show back, sort of a spinoff without her. Do you think they should go ahead and bring this spinoff show back on the air? Or do you think they should go ahead and just let Roseanne die? Yeah. Right? The show let- end and don't bring it back at all. What do you all think? Hit us up. No, nah, I'm finna speak that right now. No, nah, they bring, they gotta bring back Roseanne. They gotta Roseanne's bring back Roseanne. Roseanne. I mean, yeah, you the fan? Look, look, look who we got as the president. Right. If you can't handle, you know what I'm saying, what she's saying or how she feels, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She just being her, bad right. or good. Then why we got Trump in office? That's my job. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Why y'all hate what? Cause she's a female or something? You know what I'm nah, saying? We got nah. Kanye. Going around, going crazy TMZ. and everything, but mm-hmm. he's speaking how he want to speak. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on now. This but he don't have a TV show. Yeah, he has a music platform. He's a singer. No, he don't a, have a TV show. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we got him running the country. That, that's a big old thing. And he had a TV show. So <laughs> there you go. He's a war so, yes, against we, California. We need to bring Roseanne <laughs> back. Let's stop being biased. It seems like when it comes to females, they want to be estrayed out on some stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being Wait honest. And it's just like, you know, this is just Roseanne's um, personality. She was like this on the other shows. You know, she's boisterous. She's loud. Hey, and it, she's going to get under your skin. But this is her personality. And she made the show hot in the 90s. Hey, the Constitution okay. now has changed. There's no more freedom of speech. Well, you say you something wrong, me. you're out. You could have fooled me because he's still in office. Well, he's the president. <laughs> so they're not going to mess with the president. They're going to wait till he not be president. Then they're going to hang him. <laughs> they gonna hang him. They gonna hang him high too. Trust me. They gonna hang that fool. You see that that Trump teddy bear? They selling. What's that? It's a Trump teddy bear. They selling. They called it Trump. Trump bear. Or oh, Trump. No, te- I didn't see that. Oh yeah. He got the hairstyle, the blonde hairstyle on it. Oh, oh it's, wow, it's a trip. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. And they and they it sell it sell like hotcakes. Oh okay. Nah, Nineteen ninety five. I see. I you see. buy one now and you get the second one free, but the shipping shipping handling is, is going to be added on to it. Okay. That's how they make their money. Oh, okay. Bear only probably cost three dollars a mate. Right. They sell it for nineteen ninety five. Right. And they are selling like hotcakes. They oh, got okay. all kinds of commercials on it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, let's, let's go ahead and get to our guest right now. Let's get inside and move the crowd. You ready for and that? see what she think about this whole thing, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands in the air. Now it's time for the best part of the evening. The radio, the radio show. show. Move the crowd. Yes, sir. Inside and move the crowd right now. We'll be taking artists off stage and bring them backstage. So we can get to know them more on a what MD? Intimate level. That's right. And, and, that's right. That's right. Now. And move the crowd is brought to you by who now? It's brought to you by Industry Connects. September the 29th at the Carson Civic Center. You'll be able to learn about the music business. We have panelists with four workshops. We have them to showcase one on one consultation. We have uh, head nodders. That's a listening session that we'll be listening to people's music. Also, we're going to have a major showcase at the end. And I heard that the girls are working on an after party too. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see what's up with that. Yeah, man. So we- it's going to be an all day educational affair. Mm-hmm. Well, joining us now, man, we we got not not often we have to say we got a Grammy Award winning uh, person in the building, but uh, hey, we independent. Yeah, hey, I know, but not not often we get to say that, but we got one here tonight. Yeah, man. there we go. That's right, man. We got Candace Wakefield. She is here tonight. Candace, how are you doing? 
Okay, let me go ahead and turn that mic up there so we can hear you. Go ahead, speak to me now. Oh, amazing. What's up? What's up? What's up? I got you. Yo, she got a singer's voice. Yeah, I know. She got, got the type of song. I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. I appreciate it. So, what's man. up? Yeah. Career. So what's Tell us a little bit about you? yourself. Oh, you know, just out here grinding. You know, independent out here is hard as an independent artist, but it's exciting at the same time because you get to take time to do what it is that you need to do to get done, you know. So, mm -hmm. I've been working in writing writing for a long time, singing background for a lot of different artists and mm -hmm. traveled the world, you know, just talking to my girl, telling her, right. you know, how it's such a blessing to be able to hit those different platforms and be heard and seen, you know what I'm saying? I sang background for a long time for Nicki Minaj for yeah. years. Okay. Um, I sang with yeah. Sierra. That's mm -hmm. how I won the Grammys with Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Blessings. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, just now stepping in the forefront doing my own thing, you know what I'm saying? I've always mm -hmm. been an artist. I have a different message, you know, okay. so I'm just out here sharing my story, my journey. Yeah, to inspire yeah. fellow artists like me, you know what I'm saying? I had some cousins like you, they, oh, they did background. Yeah. They yeah. make millions. Yeah. They background oh, for nice. every major act, to Michael Jackson, yeah. Elizabeth Vandross, Rick Jack, you name it. It's they huge. did it all. You know, you Big walk in their house, you see a whole hallway, nothing but platinum. They had, nice. they had something like 350 platinum albums. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. amazing. 400 gold. Well, um, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on the grind, man. You Much love grind? to you, man. Hell yeah. 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 Definitely, sounds good. Sounds so, good. You, you got a new single? <laughs> I do. I have a new album out. Finally, I put out my first debut album. I've been putting out singles. Um, I always talked about putting out an album, but it took me a while to do it. It took me three years, you know, um, mm -hmm. because I'm telling a story, a journey. You know, as mm -hmm. artists, we sometimes are finicky with what we want to put out and what we want to put it out. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just didn't want to be one of those artists to just put out music. Right, right. I wanted to mean something, to have some depth, something that people can take with them and feel something and be inspired and motivated because that's what I need on a daily as an artist, you know. We go right. through so much drama and struggle in our everyday life that I just needed something that was uplifting. And the type of music that I seem to always write for myself seems to be inspiring, motivational, uplifting music that seems to get me through. Right. So I'm like, wow. Okay. So who am I not to deliver that to other people, you know? So right. I feel like I get, I receive what I need out of it to let me pass that on for someone else to get the same so, thing. So do you, know? you write in a range? I do. And I write in a range. It. I produce, you know. I've okay. been writing in my car for nine years. I have a 1993 Camaro. Yeah, we're going to talk about and, that car uh, yeah. a little bit, too. We're going to talk about that. Full on the floor or fine? Yeah. Yeah. Old school. Now, what's, yeah. It's automatic. It's automatic? Automatic, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I'm not automatic, man. Yeah. I don't know how to drive no stick, man. <laughs> what's, what's the biggest thing you learned being a uh, background right. singer and with, with those major artists? Oh, man. You, you had a chance to, to, to witness the whole big thing. Unfold in front of your eyes. Yeah, what, yeah, so, yeah. what's the biggest thing you learn? I mean, treating people with kindness, your character is what gets you further than your gift ever will. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How you mm -hmm. treat people. You know what I'm saying? People are attracted to your energy. You know, sometimes your energy speaks before you even do. You know what I'm saying? So, how you treat people, you know what I'm saying? I've been done talk too crazy in the industry. Right, it's just like right. it teaches you so much humbleness because you can get so big that you can forget where you come from. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That you were once this person. You know what I'm saying? You weren't always here. So why do you feel like you have to speak to me as such? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like respect. Mm -hmm. Respect so, for the people around you, mm -hmm. what it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? Your character right. is the biggest thing for me. You know what I'm saying? So tell us about the single that you have coming out. Mm -hmm. well, or out already. I, yeah, I have a few singles out, man. I got Feeling Good. One? I got what's, um, what's the, the top, top one now. It's a blessing I um, had reached out to KJLH. You know, um, mm -hmm. Kevin Nash. I just took a chance as an independent artist you don't oh, always have the platforms mm -hmm. you know so i just dm'd him mm -hmm. i was like hey kev independent artist here you know would love the opportunity to have my song played on the radio blah, blah 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 you know um basically next thing i knew i was on the way to host an event and i heard him mention my name and i just mm -hmm. lost it and i'm like driving to the event i finally get there i'm like oh my god is he gonna play it and then Next thing I know, right what before I got out the car, Woo! the song plays on the radio, and I just like was screaming and crying, and I was just wow. like, "Wow!" And he played the song "Payoff," pay and off. I'm saying, "One okay. day it's gonna pay off." I know it. I know it. I'm working hard for it. That what? That's crazy. Uh, I didn't know what. My, I didn't have a single that yet. Should be a lead single. And that that's, that's a that gave me my answer. There it is. My payoff. Wow. You know, it, okay. It's paying off, and I'm here with you guys on the radio. I appreciate it. it's paying yes. off, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's worth it. I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. I feel. Like crying, you know. Yeah, but she she got another song too. I actually dig, and we we gonna play that on the way out tonight. Okay, okay. so we are gonna slide yeah, that one away. Yeah, yeah, we are gonna do payoff right.
right now. I, so hit us up again. And you, I produced this, man. I, I've oh, always okay. played this on the piano as a little girl, and I told myself I was oh, going to make a song to it. So I finally did it. 833 377 You want to talk to Candace Wayfield? She is here. Uh, when we come back, we didn't get a chance to touch on the whole Roseanne thing with her, so I want to get her okay. opinion on that. Plus, uh, we're going to play a little game as well called uh, Comment, Like, or Share. All right, we're going to talk about that and do that when we come back. We got Payoff by Candace Wayfield. We're going to play that right now inside of Move the Crowd. Strictly mm. heard on the radio show. It's another banger. This is the radio, radio show. Independent and exclusive. Turn it up. Move the crowd. Candace Wayfield right there. That's uh that is that payoff. Yeah, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna pay off for you. 
Yeah, that's going to pay off for you. I like that one right there. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's a good song. I, 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 I would have left having a good feeling about that one, too, hey. in the studio. So hey. I'm, I'm, I like that one. So all you listeners, listen to yeah. that. Yeah, you can call in and request it every week. Uh-huh. Please. Make it number one. Um, exactly. Just to say, somebody just shot me out real quick. They said they like the song. That song sound good. So Thank okay, you. Okay, that's Thank what's up. Thank you. Y'all getting shot out. Play it or slay it. Yeah. Play it. Yeah, so yeah. Play, play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Yeah. Yeah, and we got that coming up soon, Play It or Slay It. So don't you go anywhere so that's coming up soon so it's Kendra you're gonna, you're gonna get a chance to be A&R oh, okay so, all right so oh, we're getting it right now you're gonna become a guest <laughs> DJ now yeah but right oh, now you, you, you chilling all with right. us right now all so, right so Kendra uh, tell, us, tell us about that now you had a chance to have that that uh that uh, Camaro, that uh, 1993 Camaro. Absolutely. Now, that was one of the cars I wanted back in the day, but I never had a chance to own one. Oh, man, that's my so, first uh, love. That's, so tell, tell us about your car. Go ahead. Yeah, tell us about that, what that car mean to you. you. This car means so much, man. I got this car back in 2009. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I've been having this car for a very long time, uh-huh. in and out, ups and downs. It's so old, you know, so older cars, you always have all these extra problems. Exactly. You know, so I done spent... A few cars. Exactly. Constantly fixing this car, you uh-huh. know, because I'm just like, man, it was my first love as a child. Uh-huh. Camaros work, you know. Okay, I've always liked sports feel? cars. And, right. And my very first car as an adult was a 94 Chevy Camaro. You know, oh, really? that car only lasted like a month because the engine went out. And my dad was like, don't buy this car. I guarantee you it's going to go out. You're going to be mad. Uh-huh. That's exactly what happened, you know. Right. And then I ended up getting this red Camaro. Um uh-huh. Been rocking with it for a long time, man. And uh, being an independent artist, you don't always have the money, you know what I'm saying, to go right. to the studio or pay for other people's time, you know what I'm saying. So uh-huh. I just was like, i got to figure this out, you know what I'm saying. So I invested in myself a computer, you know, mm-hmm. and a microphone. Mm-hmm. And I was living at home with moms, you know what I'm saying. They go to bed early and shit, stuff, oh, you know oh, what I'm oh, saying. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Don't tell me that. Okay. You know what I'm saying. My bad, my bad. Sheesh. 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 And it sound good, oh, <laughs> you know. Okay. So I got better and better, and signed yeah. my first publishing deal off of all the songs I wrote and recorded in my car. In the car, you know? huh? yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, same thing. I, I get a lot of work done in yeah. my car too. Yeah. A lot of people just pull yeah. up and sit in their yeah. car yeah. for hours car. on the phone, yeah. whatever exactly. you're doing. Exactly. You know what I'm so yeah, yeah. 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 that's what's going on. And, and you know, I, I had to think about too. But uh, what's up, John? Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was going to say what 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 cars that I've had in my life meant a lot to me, right? And the cars, I can say three of them. I have to think about that. My my three cars that I meant the most to me. Number one, my first car. Always your first, you know, your virginity, oh. that car. <laughs> you know, nineteen a nineteen eighty Datsun Sentra that meant the most to me. Also, number two was my uh, nineteen eighty eight Nissan Maxima. Oh, that, I couldn't yeah. tell me nothing when I had that car. Third car that meant the most to me was my night my two thousand four Nissan Altima. I ran that car to the ground. I don't so, even want to ask why know. they meant that too much. And not, why they meant that to you? What you do in them? Oh, what I, you do? I, oh, I, I know, but I had to think what about what you do. I, I spent a lot of time in those cars when I was thinking about what she said about her Camaro. Oh, yeah. And those the cars I spent a lot of time in. But you know so. what? The classics are the best because I got a 91 um, Pontiac Firebird. So oh, that's okay. like transformation. Yeah. Woo woo. Okay. You know, well, and Chevy Ashland. So I'm right here. I'm okay. vibing with yeah. it. You vibing. Right. You vibing. There you go. Yeah. Same page. Same team right there. I remember I had and a 60. What car you had? I had a 60 Chevy M. Uh-huh. And my father gave it to me you uh-huh. know, when I graduated from high school. Then I went and bought a 69 Camaro yeah. Super Sport. Uh-huh. Four on the, it wasn't fives then, it was four on the oh. floor. Yang, yang, yang. Yeah. You talking about pillin' yeah. rubber? I was a speedster. Okay. Right. Craig her down. Yeah. You know, I had my Craig's on, my on my wheel. That was you a, was shot. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My slicks in the back. Uh-huh. And I was like, pillin' rubber. You can hear me down the street. Yeah. 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 Cops be pulling me over often. They do? You know, when they see I'm a girl. I think it's the color of the car because it's red. Oh, it's red. Saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't be doing nothing wrong. You know, no, then the sometimes they
comment, or share. Since you post it out there on, on, on your page, mm -hmm. you want people to do it, well, we're going to do it right here. Okay. All right? We're too lazy to type it, so we're just going <laughs> to tell you. All okay. right? So, this first one right here. Now, this is something you had on your Instagram keyword. Uh, your Instagram is, is so... What's your, what's your Instagram again? Superstar C. Superstar C. Yeah. All right. So you have this on your Superstar C page. Now, you got to excuse my low budget, but I forgot to make the, to edit it out. But I'm going to do the best I can with it. So here's here's what you said. You, you said this quote on your Instagram page, and you made sure you put this out there. And I want to know what this quote means to you. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. You don't got no headphones, but I'm going to see if you can hear it anyway. You thank me for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're welcome. Here we go. 55-minute album. I hope y'all hear this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'll pour that laptop and have my guy at McDonald's. <laughs> you know, and do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to inspire the fellow writers and dreamers like me that it doesn't take all of this to get the job done. Yeah, I did a whole album, yeah. an entire album, 19 songs. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, that's a long time. But it's a 55 minute album. I hope y'all hear this. <laughs> All right, now you said that on your Instagram page, and you, yeah. you made sure you put that quote out there for a reason. Yeah. So I want to know, what did that mean to you when you put that out there? Why, uh -huh. why do you want the world to know that about you? Well, because a lot of people assume, you know, they see jewelry and they see all these different things and the perception of the music industry, and they assume one thing, you know, but I want them to know the real behind it, mm -hmm. you know, the real true process that I went through and still go through today, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To know that you don't need the big studio and the, to pay a $1,000 to an engineer or even 75 an hour, but if you just take that time and invest in yourself, you can get so much more done mm -hmm. versus waiting for someone else to do it for you or waiting to gain the money to get it done. Right. You know, so I just did what I needed to do mm -hmm. to show you that, hey, look, I just did a whole album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did it like this. Right. So make, what makes you think you can't do the same thing? You know, just oh. to inspire. Okay. Just inspire. Okay, yeah. so MD, if you, if you happen to see that on our page and you, you heard that, and she told you the explanation of that. What would you do with it? Like, I, I, I comment, go, or share? What you doing with that? I go along with her. I, I mean, I like to comment. I mean, you just it, it just says, you know, what it is. You know, okay. and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So see, I can relate to the studio because you know I used to work out a studio with with some of the celebrities. I was in the studio with Michael Jackson. Did you want to be sorry yeah. something? My cousin did the background. Right. See, so and the, day, the day I asked Quincy Jones what what it takes to be a producer, he said, Hey, you got to have a good ear. And the system of arrangements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you learn those two pieces first, then everything else just come. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, well, so if you don't have to play or nothing, see, that's why you got musicians. You don't have to play nothing. You get right. musicians to play. I say, oh, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, now also, too, the, the second thing I saw on your on your Instagram page was this here. You're holding a, a platinum plaque TL, TLCs. Hey. Uh, I guess you worked on the last project the TLC put out. Yeah. Okay, so you saw it, you put this on here, and I know you put that in for a reason. How did this make you feel winning this plaque? Oh, man, I, I had the worst, one of the worst days that day. You know, I was in the worst mood, had been crying all that morning, just discouraged by so many different things. Mm -hmm. You know, human, you know what I'm saying? So, um, went to the studio, and we walked in the room, uh, hook, hooked up with my best friend. That's my best friend, Elvis, there. We actually wrote... Um, a few songs together on TLC's finale project that came out last year, which is the same day of Jay Z's album it came out, and it went number one on the Billboard. You oh, know good what I'm for I wrote you. four songs on that project, and me and my best friend wrote a song called "American Gold," one of their singles, and we walked in and they showed us the plaque, and we just went crazy. We were like, "Oh my God!" Like, and they just told us we were number one Billboard songwriters, and I just had the worst day, so that like oh, wow. turned around my whole day. You know what I'm wow. saying? So that was such a blessing, you know? So yeah. it's just something like, wow, I'm a number one Billboard songwriter now. I'm Grammy Award winning vocalist. Wow. I'm a Billboard songwriter. Come on, Lord, what's next? Yeah. Exactly. If you don't know what yeah. platinum is, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what platinum is, that's a million so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Jalon, if you, if you saw that on our page and you saw that scrolling down Instagram on the feed, what would you do? Like, comment, or share that? What would you do? I really like it. You know, I like, like it. comment, I like some more, comment some more, happy uh -huh. face, smiley face, and TLC, and the albums, and doing it big, and yeah. independent, and making it happen. Come on now. Yeah. Swanging. She's no, she <laughs> no longer a scrub. She's no longer a scrub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Final thing we saw on there, you got this right here that the Grammys gave you this yeah. for a pimp. For, uh, what is it? Uh, the to pimp a butterfly right there. Yeah, so they, they they gave that to you as well. Good. Another award on your Instagram. So mm -hmm. you got this. Yes, Not yes. too many people walking around with that. I know, man. How did that it's make you feel? Blessing. It's still surreal. 
You know, just a random call that I got to. Uh, I was on the way home from the studio at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And I had got a text from Dion, which is somebody I went to church with. Grew up to, like hadn't seen or heard from him in, in years. So it was just really weird. You know what I'm saying? But he had hit me up out of the blue saying that he needed some background singers for Kendrick Lamar. And could I put some singers together for mm-hmm. SNL? And I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, like I ain't spoke to you in years, but heck yeah, I could do this. You know, so I did that. Then, you know, a few um, months later, I got a call. Well, before that, I got the call saying, come to the studio. Kendrick wants to work with you. Okay. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is crazy. So one o'clock in the morning, I go to the studio, and he's working on All Right. And I was just like, wow. At the time, of course, I didn't know what was going to become of that song and that it was going to be exactly. a song. But, you know, he asked me to do some vocals on the song. I did that. Uh-huh. Next song we did was I. So I ended up being the vocalist on both of those songs, you know, with, like, big names like Pharrell and Ron Isley. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just insane, you know what I'm saying, to see my name next to those people, you know what I'm saying? No, it's so, not insane, young man. And then I'm just insane. like, wow, this is amazing. So I got invited to the Grammys, and that year I got invited, mm. I witnessed the win. And oh, good. I'm not thinking I'm winning nothing because right. I'm just singing. You right, know? you're I'm just like, singing. I'm right. I mean, you know, right. next thing I know, I'm getting a certificate, and I'm like, Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. You know, so Boy, that's what's up. They're telling me I'm a five-time Grammy Award winning vocalist because the album won five Congratulations. Times. Wow. Well, congratulations yeah. to you now. And I'm on I, both of the singles. So that's wow. Crazy, now, you know? now, if I saw that, I would I would like it. Yeah. Then comment congratulations. Thank you, man. Right? Yeah. It's definitely, man. I guess Chance be calling her up next. <laughs> oh, they all, hey, they all going to be calling her up hey, next. I'm available. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's you what's know? up, man. You hear that, Chance. You're okay. available. Candace Wayfield, she's here. We're going to play the sled right Right now, so let's let her be A&R. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, play the sled, y'all. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Hey, this Big B from the Black Boys Click. And if you're going to be in your feelings and get all emotional, this part of the show ain't for you, man. Right here, right now, play the sled. Right here on the radio show. The radio show. The radio show. show, radio show the radio show. Play it. Play it or slay it. All right, now inside of play the sled. We like to do this each and every week, Candice. And as we ask one fundamental question, and that's what should we do with a particular song? Should we play it or should we slay that sucker? <laughs> get it off that light, get it off that playlist, and oh, add it yes. to Jalan's hard drive Adios, so she can bang it over and over <laughs> yeah. on her phone while she cleaning the house and, and, oh, and changing and cleaning the kitchen. And you know I'll up. burn the song out too if I like it. Oh, I know. That's what's up. That's <laughs> what you're supposed to be doing. All right, I so we have saved a lot of songs. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> Candace, we need you to be a- an AR, okay? okay right, right. Treat it like you was, right. was going to sign them to a deal. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, we got one rap song coming up. Artist's name, Fame. Song is called Fallen. Fame. Song is called Fallen. Fallen. Yeah, if you like the record, you hate the record, either way it go, we do want to hear from you. Okay. Six two, I'm sorry, 833-377-5483. 833-377-5483 is the number you want to get in and talk to us. You'll learn it one day. Now, I'm going to figure it out one day, man. <laughs> Fame, Fallen, Play the Slay. Let's make it happen. The radio show. The radio show. The radio show. The radio show. Play it. Play it or slay it. a world of opportunity where power money and drugs is running the community her fatherless beauty so young and insecure to her love doesn't exist and only sex makes sense change addicted to the life got it paid her but she told me baby show no love in this game that it gets you killed kiss me on my lips in my bed i can still smell her since she told me not to fall right before we had sex damn i wake up and she's gone yeah back to the streets don't see her for some days then she popped up bruising bitch she said she won out but it ain't that Easy to leave, like she drowning in a nightmare, trying to breathe. She know I'm the type that I with my love on my sleeve. She said this ain't the Titanic movie, don't sing with me again. I wake up and she's going yeah back to the streets. Later on that day, her pick killed her for falling for me. Dang. Radio show, play it, play it, or slay it. 
that be our first play to slay it for the evening right there. That is Fallen by Fame. Fallen by Fame. Let us know what you think about it. Play to slay it. MD, would it be? Fallen Fame. Play you know, to slay it. You know what? I kind of like, I liked it. It had a nice flow. Like like Jalan said, it had that hustle and flow thing that Terrence, you know. I, I'm, I'm going to give it a, a play just on the strength that it, it had subject, but it wasn't all there. But it had something. Now, it's independent artist. Hey, keep it up. All right. That is a play. Play it. All right, Candace, what you think? Play the slay of Fallen. What should we do with it? Um, I thought it was cool. It didn't, like, super catch my attention. I, well, I'm a lyricist, too, so I pay attention to lyrics. Okay, so I think it okay, had kind okay. of a message, you know, as well. Right. But uh, for general radio, I'd give it a pad. So you you a play it or slay it? What I you gonna slay do? it. You slay it? Yeah. Ouch. All right. That'd be a slay. All right. So far, one play, one slay. Jalan, would it be? Fallen. By fame. Hi, right, you know, I'm a fool, so I gotta do something real quick. I got a singer in the house, so you know, we're gonna do something real quick. Go on, Taraji. It's getting hot out here for a pin. There ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, some, some, some money for the rain. There ain't no way. <laughs> so, yeah, that's exactly how I feel about it. And, um, okay. but the bootleg version, so uh, I, I, I. That, that sounds like a slay to me. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. slay it. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and slay it as well. I didn't really feel it much myself. That is fame. Sounds called hey. Falling. Hey, All right. You ain't getting no fame here today. All right. Well, yeah. With no you fame. almost there, boo. Hey, Keep, on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. It's all good. Well, We're we going to get to the next one right here. This one, real quick. Coming up, we do have uh, uh, 11 less when we get up out of here. Uh, we do have uh, Chant. Song, no, I'm sorry. This guy, let me get his name. Let me get this correct. His name is Mr. Skinny Z. Mr. Skinny Z, song is called Ganja. Mr. Skinny Z, song is called Ganja. A little reggae flavor. All right, let's check it out. Play it or slay it. The radio show. 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 Play, it, play it or slay it. Listen, grown up people, them don't want to be a dog. We have some Kiki Ganja right now. Adopt me, I get power pent up. Yeah. You ready to get power pent up? Crowd of people. Are the DJ name Mr. Stinker? DJ Lanty, them, the energy piece again. This a short time. This a blow time. This a one you you know no time. Sell a big, 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 and give away the dimes. This a cure time. Ready for a kick on a close line. The like you spend the liquor record that I mine. Bono big head split, mix with the wine. Take a look in at me eyes and say me fine A long time it was locked your backside Come on dance and show your face No matter hide This is the brand new thing where the people love This is the brand new song playing at the club This is one roll, one split, one puff This a radio, stereo, now I got up They make a cough and a joke We suck it up Come like we can't get enough Yeah, raise it up We smoke it That'd be our second play to slay it right there. That's that uh, Mr. Stinky. Mr. Stinky. Mr. Stinky song's called Ganja. Mr. Stinky song's called Ganja. Got my attention already. Yeah, that's pretty hot right there. Play to slay it. What should we do with this one right quick here? Uh, Jalan, what you think about this one? Play to slay it. He went to me first, huh? Yeah, I like it. It got the feel to it. I'll, I'll get down dirty at the dance hall for it. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. That's a play right play there. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and play it myself, too. It's, it's, enough, enough, it's, it's very self-explanatory. It's pretty good. Play it. So I like the record. Yeah, it's a good record. Yeah. All right. All right, Candace, what you think? Anything that make you dance and move is an automatic win. It's an automatic win for you as well? Nothing he said, but it made me <laughs> move. It made you move. You know exactly. So exactly. Play it. So it moves you. That's a play, play as well. It. All right, MD, what it be? Mr. Mr. Skinny Ganja, play it or slay it? Hey, the ganja got me going already. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> it ain't smoke none, but they got you going. It got me going. Yeah, it's all good. Got you going already. Mr. Stinky, Mr. Stinky smelling real good right now. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Mr. Stinky is smelling good up in here, huh? He is smelling woohoo up in here. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, telling you, man. 833-377-5483 is the number you want to get in and let us know. What you think about this song? 833 377 
Now, Candace, before we get into Love and Lust real quick, I didn't get a chance to ask you about the whole uh, Roseanne Bard oh, yeah. show thing and they're doing a spinoff to the show. Should they bring the spinoff back or should they let it go? What you think about it real quick? Give me I a 30-second answer. you know, they kicked Martha Stewart off for whatever she did. You know what I'm saying? They're always kicking people off, trying to find reasons to do certain things. Or, but, I mean, you know, everybody, like she said earlier, everybody has their own thoughts and things that they think. But, um, I mean, the show was a good show. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, hey, one apple spoils a whole bunch. You know, I kind of feel like you reap what you sow and she put out a bad seed and she's reaping one bad back. You know, maybe they'll think about it later and bring it back. But right now I feel it is what it is. Yeah. They, didn't do that. they didn't do two and a half minutes like that. They did. And that was a bigger move. That was a bigger sick. Everything happens for bigger a reason. Bigger sick out than Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all you good. You shouldn't have said it. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just a bad thing. Let's go again to Love and Lust real quick, shall we? No more. For radio show. Love and Lust. Time for love. Love. Lust. Lust. In relationship question, question of, the, of day. the day. What's today's question? MD Love and Lust is brought to you by who? Once again, Industry Connects, the music seminar that will educate you at the finest to learn more about this crazy music business. Mm -hmm. Be there September the 29th at the Carson Civic Center in the city of Carson. We're going to have workshops, one-on-one consultations. We're going to have showcases. We're going to have listening uh, sessions. We're going to have everything, even a live broadcast of the radio show all day long online on iHeart and TuneIn and Periscope. All those social platforms that we already are on. So be there. That's September right. September 29th. That's right. Don't forget to be at the kickoff party, lunch party, June 21st at the Hibachi Lounge. 10X live on stage looking for the winner to perform at Industry Connects, which MD announced. $50 slots are available. You get to perform one song and you get to get a chance to perform there. And also those who pay the $50 will get a chance to get inside the Industry Connects absolutely free. All right. Love and less. Our love and relationship question for the evening is there's a uh, uh, I got a couple friends out there who are, who are, who are rappers, but they're old rappers. Yeah. Uh, they're in their late 40s, some are in their 50s, trying to get into the rap game. So, <laughs> I want to know, in, in, in the industry, how long, and, and their, their girlfriends are mad at them. They want them to stop, and, 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 and enough is enough. <laughs> how long do you go to enough is enough, as far as trying to make it in something? Is, is there a cutoff yeah. age? No. You know, because your, your, your spouse and all that's going to get <laughs> upset with you. If you're 50 years old, still trying to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? So, what do you think? Yes or no? They're cut off age. Are uh, the spouses mad, wrong by being upset with them? Give me your input on it. I mean, you never know. Didn't two chains do it? Two I mean, chains did that. Well, that, 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 that was that was the that was the example that I gave. I said, "What well, two chains is like I mean, in the late 40s, early 50s, and he, he made it." But to say how old you supposed to be? Opportunity don't have an age, you know. Yeah, so you can come right. knocking at any time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've but then, it. but then again, they they saying that it ain't a lot of two chains walking around. That's that's what the women always said to them. <laughs> so. Hey, what, what do we say about you that? You never know what their spirit is talking and telling them. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in somebody's head. You ain't with the, in their personal relationship with God or whatever it is they got going on telling them to keep going. Mm-hmm. You know? But as long as they holding you down in, in other ways, you know, and not just, right. not just leaning rapping. on a woman, you know what I'm yeah. saying, to take care of the household, then cool. You know what I'm saying? But if you out here just really trying to make it in these streets, still being an independent artist, struggling and and can't feed your family, then we're going to have to talk. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah we're we going to have to talk. But maybe that's maybe that's the problem they have. Because yeah, yeah. I know I work with a couple of them, and they saying, man, he's 50 years old, still trying to rap, and he's trying to make it in there. You know, I was like, hey. Yeah, I mean, your gift is your gift. Yeah, it don't, it know, don't leave with age, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it don't it leave with age. It to you, you know. Yeah. Y'all still in it. Yeah, 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 well, absolutely. yeah, but but he got a name. He big already, so yeah. you know he he ain't, he ain't trying to break into the industry. Right, right. You know he already in it, so you know he is the industry. So yeah. you know it's all good, man. But but uh, Candace, go ahead and give your shout outs and give your social media because people want to find you. Yes, please purchase my album everywhere. Nineteen ninety three Camaro, the journey. Let it bless you. You can reach me at super s u p a superstar c is all of my social media. Candace Wakefield, C A N D A C E W A K E F I E L D. God bless. God bless, and thank you for coming through. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed your I experience here. It. Thank you. And uh, we we gonna have you here again real soon. This is your home. Hey. Okay?
Yeah. Anytime you want to come through, we're here. Yeah, All right. And, 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 I, and I love to see you at Industry Connects. I, yeah. I, 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 I need you there for that. Absolutely, man. I need to yeah. submit. That's why I'm like, what I got to do? Oh, I well, we're well, we, well, we going to make it happen. <laughs> we gonna, we, I'm going to get you all that info. Hey, go go to the radio good. show.com Absolutely. and submit and get, and, and get on there. ASAP. I'm in that thing. Yeah, you in that okay. thing. We're going to make that happen. Right. Oh, we're going to be about this thing and in the about. The parking is free. Yeah, hey. parking is free. <laughs> okay. And we're going to be about <laughs> this thing in a little bit tonight. And don't forget, go ahead. Industry Connects launch party coming up. Launch party and mixer coming up June the 21st. Hibachi Lounge, 5066 West Pico Boulevard in L.A. Uh, June the 21st from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Hibachi Lounge. Uh, charge to get in is 15 bucks. It's 18 and over event. And if you want to perform, go to www.theradioshow.com. $50 slots are available for you right there, right now. One song, and you get a chance to win an opportunity to perform at Industry Connects. Also, you get, get free entry into Industry Connects as well for paying your 50 bucks. Also, we're looking for vendors, sponsors, and all that. Clothing lines you want to sponsor as well. Anyway, enough blabbing We were done for MD, for Jalan. Thank you again, Candace, for joining us. We will see each and every one of you next week right here on the MD. I'm going to say it tonight. The number one source for independent music, the radio show. Bye, y'all. By the hood. Representing for the hood. By the hood. Representing from the hood. By the hood. It's a radio show. show.